A hand peg. Something every Vegas girl wants. Something that eludes most gamblers. And it's also something which causes a lot of confusion and frustration among foreigners visiting Vegas. What do we mean when we say foreigners? Quite simply, anybody who is not a resident of the United States. Why is something like this important? Well, if you're a foreigner and you win a hand in Vegas, depending on where you play and what documentation you have, you can expect to have 30% of your win withheld. Let's take this from a British person's perspective and create a scenario. Spencer, who is from Royal Leamington Spa in the United Kingdom, goes to Vegas and stays in Circa Circus. Spencer is a bit cheap. Anyway, on his second night, Spencer plays Quicket at max bet and lands eight Quicket symbols and wins $1,500. The machine locks up and a slot attendant comes over asking for ID, asks a couple of questions and another one comes over and says congratulations and proceeds to pay out $1,050. Spencer seems confused as he read online that British people don't pay tax on hand pays because of the tax treaty between the United States and the United Kingdom. While Spencer is correct, he doesn't know the full side of the story. Let me explain. Yes, the United States does have a 0% tax treaty with the United Kingdom, as well as many other countries, including most of the European ones. This means that you don't pay 30% tax providing you have the correct documentation. By correct documentation, I mean having an ITIN. An ITIN is an individual tax identification number, and this is a number which is assigned to you when you need to interact with the IRS. If you have an ITIN, then you can win a hand pay anywhere in Vegas, and as long as you show that documentation along with your ID, you won't have the tax withheld. Why is this? Well, gambling winnings are taxable in the United States. So when the W2G form is filled in, you'll also get a 1042S which will show your ITIN on. This proves to the IRS that you are not a United States citizen and are exempt from tax withholding because of the tax treaty. So why did Spencer not produce his ITIN in our scenario? He didn't have one. He's never won a hand pay before. Why didn't Circus Circus give him an ITIN? They can't. This is where most foreigners get confused as it's not widely known or documented. Not all properties are licensed to apply for an ITIN on your behalf when you win your first hand pay. If Spencer would have hit his hand pay at, for example, Bellagio, he would have received the full $1,500 because the Bellagio would have taken Spencer's documents and applied for his ITIN on his behalf and given him a 1042S form. In the section where it says tax number, it would say something like applied for. So let's break this down. If you are a foreigner in the United States and are from a country with a tax treaty with the United States, like the United Kingdom or France, then if you are looking at getting a hand pay, make sure you play in any of the MGM properties or Caesars Palace. Why is this? All MGM properties in Las Vegas are licensed to apply for an ITIN on your behalf, and so is Caesars Palace. Places like Resorts World, Flamingo, and Circus Circus are not licensed to do that, but that doesn't mean to say you won't get the full amount. You could just get lucky with a slot attendant who doesn't quite know what to do, and you may end up getting the full payout from an unlicensed property. But that's not going to happen very often. So what exactly should happen when you hit your first hand pay? Well, let's say you hit your first hand pay at Bellagio. The slot attendant will come over, ask for ID, and they'll explain a little bit about the process. They'll identify you as a foreigner and most likely inform you about the tax treaty. And they'll tell you about them applying for an ITIN on your behalf when you've said you don't have an ITIN number because this is your first hand pay. They'll come back about 20 to 30 minutes later, ask a few questions to verify some things, and they'll pay you out your full win and hand over the 1042S form. A few weeks later, you'll receive a letter from the IRS with your brand new ITIN number. And then a couple of weeks after that, you'll get another letter telling you that your ITIN is now active. It is probably also worth noting that ITINs do expire. If you've not won a hand pay within three years and you haven't actually used your ITIN to send anything to the IRS, it will expire and you will have to apply for a new one the next time you get a hand pay. Next time you go to Vegas, take these documents with you so as when you hit your hand pay in any property, you can present the tax number to the slot attendant and you won't have your tax withheld. And if you do, you should probably contact the Nevada Gaming Control Board, but that's a whole other story entirely. 
it doesn't even have to be Las Vegas. This item will work anywhere with the United States. You could go to Atlantic City, you could go to Reno, you could even go to the casino in New Orleans. As long as you present your item, you won't have a problem at all. So what have we learned here today? Let's sum it up in a sentence. If you have never won a hand pay in Vegas, make sure you gamble at a property that is licensed to apply for an item on your behalf if you intend to go for a hand pay, so as you don't have any tax withheld in the end. And if you already have an item, you should still take that documentation with you because you can't just give the tax number, you'll have to actually show that letter from the IRS. And I think it's important to take that letter no matter which casino you go into because hand pays can just happen. And it's always worth having the right documentation on you just in case.